Hey there, welcome to my kitchen. I know so many people right now who are trying to stick to a lower grocery budget. So today I'm going to be showing you five different family dinners that you could get onto your kitchen table for only about $5. Keep in mind, we're not compromising taste or anything like that. All of these meals will be delicious and this video will be super helpful. So I really hope you enjoy it and let's go start cooking. To get us started off today, we are making this creamy pasta and sausage dish. To my pan right here, I'm adding a half a pound of sausage. Just cook it through. While your sausage is cooking away over to a pot of boiling water, add in about a half a pound of small shell pasta noodles and just cook those according to the package directions. If you know me, you know I love this trick. My mom taught it to me when I was growing up, but after your sausage is cooked, remove any of the excess grease. I like to do it by wiggling a paper towel around in my pan until all of the grease is gone. Now you're gonna add in one cup of heavy cream and let it simmer for about two to three minutes. Stir it pretty frequently while it is simmering. Now that our sauce is starting to thicken up, go ahead and add in your one and a half cups of fresh spinach. Stir the spinach in and let it wilt down. It should only take about a minute. So now that our spinach is wilted down, I'm going to add in my one cup of Parmesan cheese. Let the cheese melt down and then it is ready to serve. Here's my big bowl of food. We like to top ours with freshly cracked pepper and red pepper flakes. This meal is so, so good. You can't even tell that you're trying to be on a budget. And then I like how I was able to add the fresh spinach in there for some extra veggies. Now we're making this smoked sausage and rice dish. To get this one started, I'm using my Instant Pot to cook the rice, or you could cook up your rice on the stove. Just follow the package instructions on the back of your rice. Anyways, to my Instant Pot, I added one cup of brown rice along with one cup of water. I put the lid on top, set it to ceiling, and then I just pressed the rice button. So now while our rice is cooking away, I'm just going to slice our turkey sausage into smaller pieces. Over to my pan on the stove, I'm adding a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of olive oil. Once the butter was melted and the oil was hot, I added our sliced sausage, and I'm going to cook the sausage for about three minutes on each side, just so it becomes a nice golden color. Once your sausage on both sides is starting to look something like this, add in your 12 ounces of frozen broccoli, and then you're gonna turn your heat to low at this point, stir everything together, and then put the lid on top, and let this cook for about three to five minutes or until your broccoli is tender. Now you're gonna season it up. I'm using a half a teaspoon of onion powder and garlic powder, a little dash of salt and pepper, and then you're gonna stir everything to combine. You'll only need about a cup and a half of the brown rice that we cooked up in the Instant Pot, so I just added that cup and a half of rice in. I'm giving this a really good stir, and then the very last thing you'll add in is one cup of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. Stir everything together to melt the cheese down, and then that is seriously all you do for this recipe. It is ready to serve now. I absolutely love cooking up this meal for my family just because you don't have to make any sides for it. It's kind of like a one pan meal in a way. It is so simple to throw together and it is phenomenal. Now we're going to begin on this cornbread taco bake. So to get this one started, I'm using this box of Jiffy corn muffin mix. I just added it to my medium sized bowl, along with a third a cup of milk and one egg. Whisk this all together and then set it to the side. Over to my pan on the stove, I'm adding one pound of ground beef. Just cook the ground beef through and then remove any excess grease. Now that my ground beef is cooked through, I'm adding in my tablespoon and a half of taco seasoning with just a fourth a cup of water. Stir this all together to combine and then you'll add in one can of drained corn and then one can of Rotel. Stir everything together again and then let this simmer on your stove for about five minutes. Mm -hmm. 
Over to my two and a half quart baking dish, go ahead and spray it with plenty of nonstick spray so nothing sticks to it. And then add the ground beef mixture we just made up right in there. And then add on top of that ground beef mixture, the cornbread mix and spread that cornbread mix out as even as possible. Bake this in a preheated oven to 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the cornbread on the top is set. This cornbread casserole has an extremely bold flavor about it. All of the ingredients combined send this one out of this world. My daughter even loves this one and my husband loves it so much. He could probably eat the entire baking dish of it. This one is a total hit for my family. Now we're making this pasta and peas pasta dish. You cannot knock this one until you try it, let me tell you. So to get it started, I'm just diced up one onion into smaller pieces. Now over to my Dutch oven on the stove. I have a tablespoon of hot olive oil in there. I'm just going to add the diced onion in and saute it for about five minutes until it starts to get soft. Now that my onion is soft, I'm adding one frozen bag of sweet peas in. Stir the peas all around and let them cook for an additional one to two minutes. After that, you're going to add in two cups of vegetable broth or chicken broth. I just used these bouillon cubes. They make it super duper cheap to add broth into things. So now I just added a half a teaspoon of salt. You're going to bring this up to a boil. Once it starts to boil, you're add, you'll add in your half a pound of of bow tie pasta noodles and then stir everything together and then cover this and let this cook for about 10 to 12 minutes or until your noodles are cooked. You do want to make sure while the noodles are cooking to stir it very frequently though just to ensure that the noodles do not stick to the bottom of the pot. Now that my pasta is fully cooked, there really shouldn't be any liquid left in your pot at this point. So then you'll add in a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, stir this together, let the cheese melt down, and then it's ready to serve. Like I said previously, you cannot knock this recipe until you try it. This recipe is super duper budget friendly and it has a ton of sweet peas in it. And sweet peas are actually really high in vitamin C and E. So this is a really good healthy option if you're on a budget. Now we're making this veggie packed one pot pasta dish to get this one started on my cutting board. I'm just going to cut up one zucchini, one onion, and one green bell pepper. I do want to let you know, typically the green bell peppers are the least expensive in the store. So if you're trying to be on a budget, use a green bell pepper. It's just because they're considered to be the least mature bell pepper. But over to my Dutch oven, I just added a tablespoon of olive oil. Once my oil was hot, I added in my onion and my Bell pepper. I sauteed these around for about five to six minutes until they were soft. Now that my onion and bell pepper are soft, go ahead and add in your zucchini and let the zucchini cook with the onion and bell pepper for an additional one to two minutes. To ensure that this has plenty of flavor, I added in a half a teaspoon of salt, fourth a teaspoon of pepper, two teaspoons of dried basil, and then two teaspoons of dried oregano. I gave this a really good stir. The rest of the ingredients you'll add in is just four cups of veggie broth, or you could do chicken broth, one pound of rotini noodles, 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes. You'll give this a good stir and then bring it up to a boil. Then drop it down to a simmer and cover it with a lid. Let this simmer covered for about 12 to 14 minutes or until your noodles are cooked. Of course, you do wanna stir it frequently while it is simmering just to ensure that the noodles don't stick together or stick to the bottom of the pot. Once my noodles were fully cooked, they were ready to serve. I just sprinkle 
sprinkled Parmesan cheese over the top of mine. This is such a great hearty meal. It's packed full of vegetables, so you know it's packed full of nutrients. I also liked how it made so much food, so we actually had the leftovers for lunch the next day. I have so many more videos like this on my channel, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any more in the future, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.